Hi there, I'm Aaron Mance. This is my audience. And today I'm going to be doing my introduction speech. <clears throat> when I was in high school, I was really involved in the high school theater department there. I spent a lot of time after school rehearsing, memorizing my lines, and just generally doing everything I could to make sure that every play was as good as it could be. I was in every sort of play. I was in children's plays, I was in musicals, I was in main stage plays, and I was in UIL competition plays, which are probably the hardest and most taxing of all of them. Those are the ones that we go and compete, and those are the ones that we usually put the most effort into. And, to be honest, they're also the most important part of the theater experience. I remember my junior year, we spent a lot of time on our junior UIL play. We all gave 110%, and we all put as much as we could to make sure that was the best play ever. It was really good, and we thought it was going to take us pretty far in the competition. But, we lost in the first round. And that bummed a lot of people out. But, not me. I was really just happy I could get a vacation. But not everyone saw it that way, so immediately after that, they started talking about what play we were going to be doing next, and eventually the consensus came to doing our senior directs, which are pretty self-explanatory. A senior or an older student would gather a lot of the other students, and we'd put on a play for the student body. I was really interested in that. More, I was more interested in going home after school, so I decided not to show up for those auditions. It wasn't really a big deal. I've already been in a lot of plays, so no one really cared too much. So, about four weeks later, I've been enjoying my vacation. I've been going home after school every day, which is amazing. Um, and eventually, I just decide, hey, I'm good to go. But one day, I'm packing up all of my bags, ready to go home for school. But that's when Ryan Clark, one of the senior directors, comes to me and says, Hey, Aaron, you need to be in my senior direct. To which I respond, no. Eventually, he's really persistent, and he eventually describes to me why I need to be in his senior direct. You see, when he was casting about four weeks ago, he got a main male lead that he thought was going to be really good. It turns out, he really wasn't. Uh, he was late to every rehearsal, didn't know any of his lines, it was generally just a drag on the rest of the group, so he had to kick him out. But that meant he was an actor, and he only knew one person that wasn't in another play already that could fill in for him. And that was me. So, eventually, after being guilt-tripped, I decided to help him out and join his play, but I was very reluctant about it. Because, keep in mind, they'd already been rehearsing for four weeks, and the day of the play was in five days. So, as a male lead, I had a ton of lines, and I had a very short period of time to learn them all, figure out all my blocking, and get chemistry with the other actors. It wasn't going to be easy. And by the time that the actual play rolled around, None of us knew what we were doing. It was going to be a horrible disaster. We were sure we were going to go out there and burn the school down. It was, a, it was a bad day for everybody, but the show must go on. So we all pepped ourselves up and decided to go out there and give it our best, best shot. And surprisingly, at the beginning, it went pretty smoothly. We all knew our lines, and despite the fact that we never actually used the stage before, we got all of our blocking down pretty well. At that point, I thought, hey, this is going to be good. We're going to do great. Uh, we're not going to make any mistakes. Until one scene came on. You see, my character is supposed to enter the stage with a tray of coffee cups. And I go out there and I'm supposed to offer everyone a cup of coffee to drink. The thing was, I couldn't find the tray or the coffee cups anywhere. They were completely gone. I tore back up stage. I was tearing apart dresses. I must have destroyed several set pieces. Just looking for this stuff. And it was nowhere to be found. It was gone. So, I'm backstage thinking, alright, so I'm going to have to go on there and I'm going to have to have an invisible tray with invisible coffee and pretend to offer them non-existent drinks and act like a complete crazy person. Luckily though, just before I went on stage, out of the corner of my eye, I saw, by divine intervention, this styrofoam Starbucks coffee cup just laying there on the floor. My instructor must have drank it, just threw it back there without even realizing it. So, about five seconds before I go on, I take the styrofoam cup and I shove it in my pocket and I go out stage. Once I'm at my grand entrance, all the actors immediately realize that I don't have my props, and they give me this look like I just destroyed everything that they tried to, so hard to make. But that's when I say my line. I go out there, reach into my pocket, and say, hey, does anyone want some coffee? Pull out the styrofoam cup out of my pants, and the entire <laughs> audience just cracks up laughing. They think it's great. And it was completely improvised and completely impromptu, 
but it was a lot better than what we had originally planned. So at that point, all the actors who were completely nervous and had incredible anxiety, and they thought that their play was awful, suddenly got a lot of confidence. All that melted away, and they realized that, hey, they could do this. So we did the rest of the play, it was really great, and the audience at the end gave us a standing ovation. It was really great. And at the very end, Brian Clark came to me, and he said, thank you very much for all the work you did to make this play a success. And that felt really good. So this play that I literally wanted nothing to do with at the start, and I've dreaded it for the entire time I was involved in it, actually turned out to be one of my favorite experiences in the theater. So it just goes to show you that some of the best things that can happen to you in your life are the stuff that you don't plan on. Thank you very much. Thank you.